What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss V. Name is G. It's whichever you want to call me. And I am back with another video. Today, I'm coming at you with a story time. But before we get started, I'm going to explain why I have been gone for so long. First and foremost, my schedule. I got a new job, so the schedule changed. So I work 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. So I'm asleep most of the day. And I still have to do online classes. And I just joined the gym. So I go to the gym after work. Excuse my list. I got my aligners in. Still ain't done because I keep slacking. But anyway, that's not an excuse. So I am back and I am better. And I am back with the story time. Today's story time is going to be about... Hold on. Um, it's going to be about... Um, my sugar daddy experience. Yes, I was a sugar baby. This was a time in my life where I didn't have a job. And I was like, I'm cute. I'm pretty. And what the heck am I doing? I'm not talking to nobody. So, why not be a sugar baby? So, let's just get into this. Why, why don't we? <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. No, I'm joking. But anyway, okay. So, this was a few years ago. Um, I joined Seeking Arrangement. Now. Seeking Arrangement, if you don't know, is an app that just set up arrangements for sugar babies and sugar daddies. Um, on that app, I met a few sugar daddies, but um, that's not the only app you can meet them on. Like, I met some on POF, and I met some, I cannot think of the name of the app. It's like a Facebook app. It's literally a Facebook app, but you can swipe on people. Like, you can swipe right or swipe left on people. It'll have a check mark and an X. It's not Tinder. It's another app. If I can remember it, I'll put it in the description box or something. I don't know. But, yeah. That's the app I was on. Um, the sugar daddy that I'm talking about, I met on that app. I just don't know the name of the app. Anyway, on that app, my profile, I would only approve for requests from older men. Um, I never used my real name. So, on POF, my name was like Sunflower or something. On the app that I'm talking about, my name was Jessica Rabbit. Seeking arrangement, my name was G. So, um, I met, I would, like I said, I only approved older guys on this app that I met the sugar daddy off of. So, um, I approved a friend request and I got a message from this older dude. He was Nigerian or something. Um, and we were talking back and forth for a while. Um, I always make it clear up front what I want. What I'm on here for and everything. So my profile basically tells it all. And in the messages, if we do converse, I let you know firsthand. I will not do this. I will not do that. Um, this is what I'm looking for, whatever. If you agree, you agree. If you don't, you don't. So we ended up talking for a few days back and forth on the app. And I ended up giving him my WhatsApp, um, you know number so you can contact me through whatsapp so we started texting and we ended up meeting up so the first time we met up um we actually just sat at the beach and talked for a while um that day we set ground rules well i set my ground rules of what i want to do what i will do i will not do anything sexual with these people no they don't know thank you no um what i'm open to and everything he agreed, so we made an arrangement. So we sat at the beach for a couple of hours talking and ended up leaving. And he actually gave me $100 that day. So we kept meeting up after that a couple of times. We met up a few more times. We went to dinner. We just hang out. We just talk. Um, got to know each other. He was cool. He was just a little aggressive. So um, one day, it was like close to his birthday. No, no, no. I'm going to save that for last. We met up one time. He actually came and picked me up. I was outside with my friend talking or whatever. And he called me. He said, hey, I want to see you. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not doing nothing. So I'm like, all right, my phone is dying. I'm going to go upstairs in the house, charge my phone. By the time he get here, my phone should have some kind of charge. So my friend ends up leaving. I come in the house. And I didn't get that much charge because he came pretty fast. So then he called me. He's like, I'm outside. I'm like, all right, so cool. So I um, unplug my phone and I'm walking outside. And he calls me again as I'm walking outside. He's like, I don't like waiting. And 
I'm like, bro, like, I'm thinking to myself, like, chill. I'm like, all right, I'm coming. So I had to meet me at the corner. So um, I get in the car and we leave. And we ended up going, driving around for a few minutes, maybe almost an hour, just talking. And the whole time we're driving, he's like grabbing my leg because I had on some ripped jeans. And he like squeezing my leg. And I'm like, ah, no, thank you. You know, like, uh. Ah. Um, <laughs> so we're driving around for a long time. And I'm like, I'm not saying anything. We're just talking. I'm not questioning or anything. So we end up at a motel. And I'm like, what the hell? He's like, oh, no, I just want to sit in here for a few hours and talk or whatever. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, not today. So we go in. Uh, he get a room. We sit in there for a few hours. And we start talking. TV's on. We're just conversing. Put my phone on the charger. And we're just talking. He then starts to try to, you know, throw his up at me. I'm like, ah, oh, no, fam, like, no. I spoke up, then I was like, oh, no. Like, you knew from jump, this is not what I was up here for. You know, I'm not willing to do this at all. You know, I've been with you for, like, the past two or hours or so. But I'm still not doing this with you. So, I'm doing it in a nice way, because I don't want him to, like, fucking kidnap me or kill me or anything. So, he gets pissed. Like, gets pissed. Whole drive back home, he's not saying anything to me. Throws the money at me when we get home. I get out the car. Whatever. I don't care. I got my money. Deuces. I had to talk to him for a long time after that. I guess when he hit me up, it was around his birthday because he hit me up and he's like, Hey, my birthday's coming up. And I'm like, who the hell is this? Like, I didn't have him saved anymore. Um, because I had him under, I'm going to call him John with the money bag. Uh, um, he's like, oh, this is, um, John. And I'm like, oh, he's like, my birthday's coming up. I'm like, okay. And he's like, well, I want you and I have this other girl. I want us three to have a threesome. I'm like, um, no, thank you. Like, no, thank you. And he's like, I'll pay you 300 and I'll give her 300. First and foremost. I don't care if you give her anything or not. Second, I don't care how much you want to give me. I'm not having sex with you. He was short and round like a little potato. And he was cool, but not on that level. He, um, the first time I met up, he was telling me how he owned a car dealership. About his life and his wife. And how they not getting along. So they're going through a divorce. And I'm just like, okay. Okay, that's, that's cool. Um... But that's not going to make me want to have sex with you. Like, I don't want to have sex with you at the end of the day. So he kept pushing it. I want to have a threesome. You know, you can touch her. T you know, I'm just like, no, like, no thank you. I would never, 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 never. He went off. He was yelling at me for a long time. Like, to the point where I just had the phone like this. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? As soon as he said, yeah, I clicked. Blocked him. And after that, I went back on the app. Of course, my dumb ass went back on the app. And he was still messaging me through the app. He wasn't cursing me out or anything, but he was, like, on a friendly level. Like, oh, hey, da -da. And I'm just like, dude, like, did you just catch me out a few days ago? Like, no. He was so aggressive. Like, how do you, I don't like waiting. You need to be outside. Like, bro, I am coming. You can wait for 45 to a minute, 45 seconds to a minute. Like, don't rush me. Um, I want to tell you guys about another, I won't call him a full-blown sugar daddy because we did never meet. We never met. We, I met him through seeking arrangement and we contacted each other through email. He had that email. The email that he had was fake, of course. We're going to call him Ben. Ben lived so far away. And every time he emailed me, he would email me a picture of his penis. And when he first said that, I'm like, what in the name of all that is? Oh, goodness, no. 
he was like, oh, send me pictures of you. I'll send you this much. I got a few hundred dollars from him. But as far as pictures, I would just Google pictures of naked people. Like, that was, like, my skin color. That was, um... Their face wasn't in it, obviously. Like, I'm no fool. Um, and send it to him. Because you're not getting a picture of my body. So, I would send it to him. I don't know what he did with those pictures. <laughs> but, they were already on the internet. That's where I got them from. He sent me a few hundred dollars. But then, it all stopped because every time he would want me to come and, like, meet him, I would make him an excuse. I get, guess he got tired of me making excuses. And, we stopped talking. He lives so far, and I do not like driving, um, especially then. I had a little yellow bug, and I just felt like that thing was going to break down any day, like at any time. Um, so, yeah, I would not be a sugar baby ever again in my life. Um, these people are aggressive. They don't listen. They are hard-headed. Um, only advice... I could give is if you're going to be a sugar baby let it be known what you are willing to do and what you're not willing to do up front and stick to it don't let anybody pressure you into doing anything that you don't want to do um it's not worth it trust me don't do it because I would never um and just be careful take pepper spray with you wherever you go I guess take a taser if you have to I keep a taser with me I keep pepper spray on my keys, and I'm no fool, because if he would have tried something in that motel room, he would have got tased and pepper sprayed, and I would have took his car keys and zoomed out of there and left his car on the block or something, like, no. But, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Tell her. If you got it, you sell it. Now we popping in our souls, we rock him, and I get a shot, and I net it. I'm guapping and growing and doing my thing, got moments of tears. Got a bad mix, yeah, got a bad mix, and I think we getting married.